Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a plan with me for you with this Glam Planner Hello Fall kit. Um, I got this when she did a reformat last year. It still has matte washi, uh, but it's super duper cute now. Uh, I think this is pretty much my last autumn kit, so uh, <laughs> even though it says Hello Autumn on it, um, I really wanted to finish autumn off with a bang and I really really love this kit. So yeah, let's do it this week, and I'm going to use the double box, but I'm going to white out the headers in the middle. So I'm sorry this is a voiceover rather than a talk through, but um, I started filming and I had to cut out about a minute worth of silence of me just trying to say something, but I just, I just really wasn't in the mood to talk. So I put on some music and just enjoyed this plan as a uh, planning session. <laughs> Um, but you see here I'm just whiting out all of the weekend because I don't plan to put any to-do checklists on there since I have such big boxes. So I'm just going to use sort of event boxes for what happens on the weekend. So now I'm going to get through and put my to-do checklist. Oh, so pretty. I love the background and just all the colors of this kit are so, so gorgeous. So happy I saved all of this for actual autumn. <laughs> I always feel so like sad, like in you know, like in the sip what what well, months of, uh, October, November sort of thing, where they're all autumn up up in the northern hemisphere. You see, I'm still not great at talking. Ugh, I'm just I've been talked out talked out this week, but um, that's alright. I really want to use mostly the florals from this kit rather than that geometric which makes me think of the shining so I left that one out not as many foxes because there are more foxes in the uh, clip art or deco so I decided to leave that one out as well um, yeah I was always jealous watching everyone do their autumn kits and now I'm like well do I really have to follow the seasons but I feel a bit silly to have like hello autumn when it's spring here <laughs> on a kit, so I don't know. Even though I prefer to live in perpetual autumn and winter, to be honest. That's what I prefer, but um, yeah, I don't know. I saved it up, and yeah, I'm sad to see autumn is going. Although I'm about to go to the UK where it will be summer <laughs> instead of winter, so we'll see. Oh well, I'll just live with it. At least the UK summer isn't so bad. <laughs> Uh, the English summer rain, as the placebo song says. Uh, but now I've pretty much got my whole base down. I decided not to put any extra headers on the weekend. I just thought I'd cover that section up with the weekend banner and it'll look really good. So now for my cyber, I'm going to use this dark orange from Pink Popsicle Studio. and This is her vitamin or medicine tracker. Really, really love this. Especially because I take two a day, so I can use the two little um, halves of the pill to not to mark that down. Then I use the uh, habit tracker from the kit, and now I'm actually going to use the gray washi just to bring in that color as well. Because pretty much everything I'm bringing in is either the orange or the teal, so I thought get some more gray in there by using a background for the headers. So I've got a weekly box for dinners, and I don't like meal plan, but I do like to see what we've been eating um, during the week. Just to give an idea, sometimes it's like, well, what did we eat last week? I can't remember. <laughs> um, and then I wanted to put in the last checklist, but it didn't have enough room. So I'm doing this little trick here that I saw from Samantha Plans, or She Used to Be Girl in a Magical World. So you cut off as many as you need to to fit it, and then because it has the outline across the bottom, I just cut that outline off, including the corners, and I just wedged it right in spot, and it looks like a full checklist. How awesome is that? I love that. <laughs> Such a great little hack from Samantha Plans. So, And then I decided I like having a little deco in the um, weekly boxes which a lot of shops have been doing lately. So I put one in from the uh, deco from the kit, just the cute little mug. And I'm just putting up the little flag, which I'm totally failing at. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so now I think we can get onto the weekly. I think that's what I'm preparing to do. So on Monday we have Twin Peaks comes back and I'm so excited. I think it's like four hours long the first. So I used an appointment label to really highlight it and a little teal TV icon from the kit to mark out Twin Peaks because I love Twin Peaks. One of my favorite, favorite shows. Um, and I decided to put my videos up the top because they'd just be covering some florals. So I used a little thing and a Clever Girl Crafts orange heart with gold foil. I think it was the Rita sheet. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think it was. Then I decided I wanted to use as many um, pattern half boxes as I could because they're so pretty in this kit. Uh, and I was still trying to decide what I wanted to put on that Wednesday one, but I used the little um, Bippity, is it? Bippity with her pumpkin spice latte that came with the kit, and I put her for Monday to mark that I want to go into work. Then I used the alarm clock from the kit and this My Newest Addiction gold foiled arrows to mark my doctor's appointment on Wednesday. I remember because I got to catch the bus in for that. And um, then I put another video on Wednesday. So Monday will be this video, of course. Wednesday is probably a haul, I think. Yeah, stick a haul. Um, so now I don't have like too much plan this week, just sort of writing and stuff. I was going to use this appointment label for what? For payday. Um, and I decided I didn't really want to do it that way. And I didn't want to use, I only had payday lollies for the teeny friends, but I really wanted to use Bippity throughout the spread. So I decided to use this Little Miss Papery payday instead because I love it and the peach matched really, really well. But I didn't like it there and I had a lot to put on Thursday, so I'm going to put it down and cover these last two hearts with the flag from the kit just to put in payday. Super easy. And then I decided I'd use this appointment label to mark that FedEx is delivering my new uh, Erin Condren planners, my 2018s. I got two colorful verticals and now I feel like I should have gone neutral as well just to see it. So I don't know. I think I have to make another order. But anyway, I used the planner from the kit to mark that. And then the half box, I used the happy drinking drunk bibbity. Um as an amusing way to mark that it was my very last tutorial for the semester and I don't actually have to do any prep because the students are doing a class-wide debate. So yeah, sweet! I just have to sit there and make sure the debate doesn't get out of hand. Um, but yeah, it'll be my last and I can't believe I've taught, well, if you include both tutorials because I teach two, I've taught 20 classes this semester and that's crazy. I'm really happy to be finished even though it was fun <laughs> but it was very very challenging and I I applaud any teacher out there who does it like 24 7 because oy, two hours a week was enough for me <laughs> and definitely didn't stop at two hours a week there's a lot of extra work anyway I gotta catch up I put a little camera icon and to-do list on Thursday because I want to film my new Erin Condren's the video up the top with the Clever Girl Crafts Hub will be my 2018 Erin Condren sort of First impressions, I'm not going to spend too long, I'm just going to flip through and show you. Now I do a little thing and a working computer bippity to mark that I have an assignment due for my students, so I have to make sure they get those in on time. Then I put another, a little coffee bippity, it's not a pumpkin one, but it's just a normal coffee to mark. I have a history circle, so post-grads do this um, history meeting and I'm actually presenting at it, so it's scary. <laughs> Um, and then on Saturday my mum is flying over from interstate so I put in the little mother and daughter teeny bippities um, that came in the May mystery which you'll see on the haul on Wednesday so I'm sorry I'm being a bad YouTuber uh, but I wanted to dig them out and use them because they were perfect so that's meeting my mum and then I just did the clean these and the bed on Sunday just to mark doing bedding and laundry and stuff and then I just had some extra half boxes that I could fill in. Then I decided I did want to put in date covers and I finally decided on these light grey taupey warm um, grey 
uh, covers from Colourpop paper and then I used uh, My Newest Addiction Gold numbers to mark the numbers on there. I thought this was the closest. It's still not light enough but I thought they're warm enough that they went with the whole feeling of the kit. So I think they actually went really well. I just didn't have any oranges or teals that would go otherwise. But I think this grey ended up working okay. Then I remembered I have Andrew Tribeca on Tuesday and iZombie on Wednesday. Phew! So that is the kit. This will be a big week as I need to do a whole lot of work and my last tutorial and my new Aaron Condren so I'm super excited. Now I'm just going to get some deco up in her. Why did I say that? Some deco here. <laughs> Who do I think I am? Um, yeah, I thought those foxes are really cute. But I wanted to lay these flat flowers over the top. But yeah, my Erin Codron review video will just be short. Just flip through about what I got. But I think I have to buy a neutral one as well now. Because I don't know. I'm torn. Uh, I just don't know what to do about next year. So let me know if you are colourful or neutral. Because I'm, I'm stumped. <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, and then I'm just... Finish off that deco. I did fill everything out, but I forgot a couple of things, <laughs> as you can see. But I filled those out later anyway, so that's fine. But here's what I have left of the kit. Uh, I thought the spread turned out super cute and light, but autumny. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't be afraid to comment down below. And I'd love to talk to you. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.